going on everybody uh just sitting here with the missus mm -hmm. happy new year happy um, new year we're gonna do a, a video on playing the sarah sarita game i got a little box i got it for like uh 3.99 at hobby lobby mm -hmm. and i printed off the rules online uh i got two coins you have to have two that's one side of it that's the other. I didn't want to play it with like, cause there's some people that just look it up online and like play with just average quarters. And I was like, man, I don't know. I, I like collecting that type of stuff, you know. It, when I die, man, people are gonna have like <laughs> boxes full of like weird occult items and stuff, you know. Like, what do I do with this? I don't want it, you know. I don't want to be haunted, but uh. So I, I got a little box big enough to hold the two coins and I printed off like a little instruction manual. It actually goes into like the history and stuff of it. So hey let me know in the comments and stuff uh what you all's uh uh New Year's resolutions are. You know, I would like to know. Honestly, I got some, but I don't know, that, that's my personal stuff. Mm -hmm. But I do, with when I went to Hobby Lobby, I got the coins too there. How much were they? Do you remember? No, I don't remember. Not so much. But I didn't pay attention to the price. Though. I got a shit ton of extra coins. So, hit me up in the comments. But don't just, like, comment. Actually say if you want me to send you, like, your own little Sarah Sarita kit. Because I will send it to you gladly for free. I mean, you don't, you, you know, you can donate a couple bucks or something if you want. But uh, hit me up in the comments if you actually want them. And then we'll figure out a way to message you through my wife's email or something. And we'll ex I'll exchange, or you can let us know your address and I'll send it to you. You know, and we'll have the return address and stuff. Uh, something like that. We'll we'll figure something out. You know, and we'll I'll I'll send it to you for free. I'm not gonna charge you, and I'll, I'll even print out a little. Like uh, I'll put the coins in a little pouch and print out. You know, like a actual manual on how to use it and stuff. But it's called Sarah Sarita. It's spelled S A R A, and then Sarita, S A. R I T A. Um Told you honey, you won't stay. Oh fuck that freaked me out, man. No, but it just it will not stay. I know, close. just where that door opened right after <laughs> I said Sarah Sarita. <laughs> yeah, another thing too, like playing this game, there's actually people who have played it and said that they felt like they never actually exited the game. Mm hmm So the timing of that door opening behind me. And it wasn't anything supernatural. It was just like right after I said Sarah Sarita and spelt out the words, it just went, <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. But this house, like that door is never closed. It like kind of sticks and then it just opens randomly. But God, that freaking freaked me out, man. All right. But I'll read you the history of it. Uh, Sarah Sarita is a scary game played by kids and teenagers in Mexico, so it's of Mexican origin. Uh, involves contacting the ghost of two young girls who were murdered in Mexico. The game is known as El... I'm gonna butcher this. El Luego de Sarah Sarita. And it is similar to Charlie Charlie Pencil Game, which we already did a video on that and stuff. And I wasn't honestly that impressed with it. The Charlie Charlie thing. Hey, it makes a good collection, collection, you know, yeah. to my occult collection, though. Yeah. They say that a number of kids in Mexico has had to go to a psychiatrist or were placed in mental asylums after playing this because they didn't end the game properly. To play Sarah Sarita, you need two players and two coins. So, here we go. Uh, of the same value. Uh... The two of you sit on the ground facing each other holding a coin in your hand. So here's yours. Here's mine. 
Mm -hmm. uh, both of you say out aloud, Sarah Sarita, can I enter your game? Throw the coin over your head so that it lands on the ground behind you. If, if the two coins land on heads, it means the answer is yes. If the two coins land on tails, the answer is no. If one lands on heads and the other lands on tails, it means maybe. If you both get yes, you can play the game, or you can begin the game and ask Sarah and Sarita questions. Throw the coin over your head and you will get the answer. Uh, it is important to end the game properly or they say bad things will happen. Some people say Sarah and Sarita are the ghosts of two murdered girls. Others say they are evil spirits or demons communicating from hell. Dun dun dun! Uh, to exit the game, you need to say uh, Sarita Sarita. So not Sarah Sarita. Sarita Sarita, can I leave your game? And throw the coin over your head to get the answer. If the answer is no, you need to keep trying until you get a yes. Warning, some people have found that this game is very difficult to get out of. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. There are reports that even though they didn't, they did everything properly to end the game, it does not really end. Hours after playing the game and ending it, they get a sense of something is wrong, so they say out aloud, Sarah, Sarita, am I still in your game? And when they throw the coin over their heads, the answer they get is yes, so be careful. All right. Well, I'm off tomorrow, so. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, and here's the legend of Sarah Sarita. According to the legend, years ago, did you save this document on there too? So that way, when we send them, whoever actually. If I didn't, I can easily find it and one. do it again. Okay. I mean, I'll have no trouble doing it again. Yeah. Uh, according to legends, or a le according to legend. I can't read apparently all of a sudden. Uh, it is New Year's. I, I've been drinking a little bit. You know, so is she, but I don't really care. It's New Year's, you know. Happy New Year again. Uh, years ago, there were two girls who went to a school in Mexico. One was named Sarah and the other was Sarita. They were twin sisters and they were very close. Both of them wore a matching coin on a chain around their neck. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's so weird. My coin necklace broke before I remember when I started doing this type of shit. Mm -hmm. Was it around the same time I started kind of setting up all this jazz? I think it's before. Was just, it before? Just before. just before. That is a weird coincidence, though. Yeah. Uh, both of them wore a matching coin on a chain around their neck. Uh, they were really quite beautiful. The girls sometimes played behind, stayed behind in the afternoon after school for cheerleading practice. One day the girls stayed behind after school, but they didn't realize that practice had been canceled. The janitor, Freddy Cougar, who, <laughs> who worked at the school was a creepy weirdo. When he saw the girls going into the bathroom on, on their own, he, uh, he followed their, them. It says her, but... Oh, when he saw one of the girls, okay, going into the bathroom on her own, he followed her. Inside, he attacked her and abused her horribly before strangling her to death. When the other girl got worried and went to see what would, uh, what happened to her twin, she found the janitor standing over the body of the murdered sister. He attacked her too, and she grabbed a shovel that was there and hit him in the head. She kept hitting him until she thought she had killed him. However, when she turned to go for help, he grabbed her and stuffed her head in a water tank, drowning her. He tied a rope around her, the neck of the other girl and hung her in the bathroom door. Uh, when the bodies were found and the police were called, they thought the girls had gotten into an argument and killed each other. The case was closed and it was dismissed as a murder-suicide. So I guess the janitor killed himself. At the time, the girl's broken chains were found on the floor. No, Junior didn't kill himself. They said... Dismissed they... as murder-suicide, so they thought one of the girls committed suicide? In other words, one kills one, okay. and then the one that hungers... So the janitor killed... got away then? Yeah, At the got free. Oh my god, he's still out there! <laughs> <laughs> At the time, the girl's broken chains were found on the floor, and two coins were living or lying there. Uh, one coin was heads and the others was tails. 
the janitor was never caught for his crime, and soon afterwards he moved away and nobody heard from him again. So he got away with it then. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Uh, we're going to... Heads is going to be the one with the crown on it, like a crown goes on a head. Tails is going to be the two crossed swords. So, you ready? Remember, though, like to exit the game, we have to say Sarita, Sarita. Yeah. I, I think remember. that's a lot of people's problem, though. But you have to say Sarah, Sarita when you enter. Yeah, we will, we will say Sarah, Sarita. Okay. And then Sarita, Sarita. Yeah, it's Sarita, Sarita. I think that's why people get caught in the game. Yeah. I feel like we're playing Jumanji or something. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be, you know, can I enter? Two it? heads is yes. Like, if you have one that's no, different yeah. than mine, it's maybe. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Sarah, Sarita, Sarita can, can we enter, enter the game? game? Well, mine's a heads. I got heads. Heads. All right, dope. So we entered within two seconds. <laughs> what do you want to ask? Oh, God, I don't know. Well, let's... Uh, I didn't all prepare right. any questions for myself. Me neither. <laughs> it's kind of like just playing a Ouija board. You just kind of figure it out while you're playing. Yeah. Um, where it's New Year's, mm -hmm. let's ask if this is going to be a, a good New Year. So, Sarah Sarita, is this going to be a good new year? Let me actually put my nose on me. I got heads. I got tails, so maybe. So that's up in the air. That sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. You're going to have good stuff and bad stuff happen throughout the year. Yeah, it's always a given. Alright, uh... Let's um... see. Hey, I got one. Hmm. Uh, if we're gonna pay your car off. I was thinking the this same year. thing. Sarah, Sarah Sarita, Sarita, are we going, going to pay, pay the the we, car off? Yeah, we don't have to say it at the same time. No one else does. You All can right. ask us a question, or I can. So. Heads. Heads. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Good>. awesome. <laughs> Good. Let's see. What else you wanna ask? Um. Hey, I got one since, like, this year we struggled this winter. Yeah. If we're going to struggle next winter. There you go. Sarah Sarita. You have to say it, though, I think. No, just, you can be one of the, someone is one of, no one else has done it that way anyway. Okay. I mean, just, I don't know. I've just, every video I've seen, they say the same question. It's, or that was Omar, though. Yeah. Oh, which, by the way. We discovered this game from Omar Gosh's channel. Not yeah. that he even needs more shout outs because the dude's got like a, a billion trillion. This, his literally is a YouTuber that, <laughs> but I do have to give credit. That way I don't yeah. get some troll that says, you stole this from Omar's channel. I didn't fucking steal shit. <laughs> so there's your shout out, Omar Gosh. Uh, check his channel out though. He, he seems like, I like his stuff. Yeah, he's got good stuff. All right. Uh, so Sarah Sarita, oh wait, what was the question again? Oh, Sarah Sarita, are we going to struggle this next winter? Financially. Dang, yours went all the way down the stairs. Mine's tails. Tails. So no. Dope! Awesome! Uh, I like this game so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me all the answers I want. Well, uh, there's Sarita. Are we going to travel this year? I got a head. Mine's is tails, so that maybe. Sounds, so that sounds about right. Which is fine. Yeah. That makes sense, too. Exactly. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of more accurate than we thought it would be. It, I don't know. Maybe they actually just... Let's ask. Maybe they do. Should we ask about them or no? We can I don't know, I just don't want to piss them off because they're well, actually, they seem pretty cool. If it is a true story. We could ask simple questions, something that won't really be poking into things we shouldn't. Too much. Yeah. Sir, okay, you want me to ask if they're, if it's the actual spirits of the girls we're talking to? You can. Most people tend to ask that question. Okay. Sarah, Sarita, don't, neither one of you get offended 
or mad, but is this the actual spirits of the girls you were. that we're talking to? Yeah. Mine's tails. Mine's head. Ah, uh, maybe. That's usually what they answer most times, too. Most times they never answer. 